take the Altair 4XR out of the multi-unit charger. Green light indicates that the Altair 4XR is fully charged. Red light shows that the Altair 4XR is still charging. Briefly press the on-off button to switch the instrument on. The Altair 4XR is now performing a self-test. All display segments will be activated for a short period of time and acoustic and vibration alarms as well as LED signals will be tested. The display then shows the following information. The manufacturer's name, the product name, the software version, the Bluetooth information, the running sensor discovery, the type of combustible gas being detected with measurement units, the measurement units chosen for toxic gas, the alarm set points for the low alarm, for the high alarm, for the short term exposure limit, for the workplace exposure limit, the calibration values, the current time and date, the date of the last calibration if not deactivated, and due time in days for calibration if activated. When FAS is displayed flashing, please perform the fresh air setup. To do so, press the on-off button briefly. Important! Do not activate the fresh air setup unless you are certain you are in an environment with fresh, uncontaminated air. Otherwise, Inaccurate readings can occur. For instrument shutdown, press and hold the on-off button until off appears on screen. Release the button and the Altair 4XR will shut down. Insert the switched-on Altair 4XR into the Galaxy GX2 automatic test station to perform the daily bump test. Normally, it will take approximately 40 seconds. When the bump test is successful, it will be shown on the Galaxy GX2 display. Take the Altair 4XR out of the test station. The instrument's display shows a check mark for the next 24 hours after successful bump testing. The Altair 4XR is now ready to use. The Galaxy GX2 will inform you if the bump test and subsequent calibration are not successful. Take out the Altair 4XR. The multi-gas detector is not ready to use and needs an inspection. If you should enter a hazardous area, the Altair 4XR will activate acoustic, visual and vibrating alarms. In this case, leave the hazardous area immediately. When the Altair 4XR goes into low battery warning, the battery life indicator flashes, an alarm sounds and alarm LEDs flash. Display shows low bat. Leave the area immediately as the end of battery life is approaching. The Bluetooth communication must be enabled to operate with the mobile device and installed Altair Connect app. The instrument will automatically enter discovery mode for five minutes after the device startup sequence. To manually enter discovery mode, page down through the menu pages in normal operation mode 
using the arrow button until the Discovery Mode page is displayed. Press the up arrow button until the display shows Discovery Yes. Press the on off button to enter Discovery Mode. The blue LED will blink rapidly, indicating that the device is in Discovery Mode. For connecting the Altair 4XR to the Altair Connect app for the first time, start the app and press Search for Instruments on the device. Then tap Pair button for Displayed Instrument. Both the instrument and device will display a matching, unique six digit security code. Confirm the pairing request on the device and on the Altair 4XR by pressing the arrow down button. The Altair 4XR also has an integrated RFID chip for faster Bluetooth pairing. Align the mobile device over the approval label on the back of the instrument. If you have successfully established a Bluetooth connection, the Altair Connect app displays the instrument readings and the blue LED on the instrument flashes slowly. Safety IO Grid Live Monitor subscribers will see the gas readings and location details of the connected user. To disconnect the instrument from the app, tap the three dots in the upper right corner of the device and tap Disconnect.